Why am I still hearing footsteps? And now I'm wearing socks. Hmm. Anyways, today's unboxing is brought to you by GG and E. Enjoy. Alright, so let me start with the first G. And the first G is a gator case. Picked this up for the Squire Jazz Bass. And uh, I already have a couple of these cases. And they work out pretty good for uh, basically any type of a neck. If you have an angled neck on it or a flat neck like the Jazz Bass Squire. Now... This thing retails for about 119 bucks, uh, give or take, on the internet as far as buying them on eBay. I picked this up at my local music store over here, and uh, I got it for $79.99. So, let's see what it looks like. I know you guys have seen these before. I showed them in the past. They're kind of nice. come with a set of keys and everything else so there is a lock on it and as I said $119.95 so alright get this open with one hand if I can so it's pretty basic on the inside not uh, too shabby I will leave one of these inside of here and this is a 2018 been inspected and everything else they're top priority so as you can see it's nothing really fancy pretty basic um it is somewhat padded it does have a little bit of a padding over here uh, it does have a nice neck support and the squire necks do fit inside of here nicely and if you have an angled headstock this is cut out for whatever angled he headstock you have and whatever slanted headstock that you have as well so it works out pretty good they're kind of nice there's really i mean there's really not too much here to show off and explain uh, other than the p base should fit right in here with no problems doing all this with one hand there you go so yeah fits in there really nice i'll be able to close this up and uh seal up i already have another squire base in one of these cases and uh they work out very very well not too bad at all but i do have to say there you go now she's resting in there and it's hooked a little bit over here so the neck fits in there really nice. Headstock, there's plenty of room underneath the headstock. Now this body here fits in here pretty snugly. Snuggly. <laughs> and again, there is a lock, does come with a set of keys. So this wasn't really too much of an unboxing other than possibly an unbagging. So in no particular order, let's go to the G or the next E. Or next G and E. Either one. Alright, so with this one here, I went with the E Epiphone. Now, I already have one similar to this one, but it's the next model down. So, this one will be the next model up of what I already have. So, let's get this thing out of its box. I don't like when they ship something that is in like an original box like this. To me, I'm sure there's probably a bubble wrap or styrofoam or something in there, but to me this is not a good way of, some, of uh, shipping something. Even though this is a thick-walled box, I just don't care for it. I would have this box in another box if I were to do this. So let's get this puppy open. All right, so got all the tape cut around the box, and let's get the box open. 
not fun doing this shit one-handed. And a lot of you guys, I know how you feel. All right, so. This I ordered from eBay. Thank you for your business. Yeah, they padded it pretty good, not too bad. So let's get this thing out of here. This I'm going to need two hands for, so I will be right back. All right, so you can kind of get the idea of what it is right now just by looking through the wrapper. And yeah, it's another Epiphone base. Now this is the EB3. The other ones I have is an EB0. Um, and uh, this one is supposed to be brand new. Now I've been looking at these and this is originally the one that I wanted to get. But uh, the prices were fucking crazy with these, these damn bases. And I don't know why I need to get a pair of scissors to cut that. I don't know why. Because, you know, it's just it's an Epiphone. Not really, you know, anything fancy. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I've seen this base, this base here go. Some guy won $1,500 on eBay for it. It's like, why? So, let's get her unboxed, bagged, whatever you want to call it. Again, this is supposed to be brand new. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so there she is. First things I want to check for is usually, you know, something, problems going on up here on each side of the nut, and that seems to be fine. Action height looks good. No problems with the neck joint. That's good. Now, this has got a veneer on the back of it, as you can tell, and you can see around the edges where they sanded down the veneer to get the look on it. So there's the plastic on the cover. So there's the plastic on the pickups. So there's the plastic on the pick guard. So yeah. So yeah, still has all the plastic on everything. And again, they did the same thing. I got fingerprints all over it now. They ended up, it's got a veneer on the top and they sanded it back on the sides. It's pretty nice, not bad at all. So now I got the big brother and the little sister of the Squires bases, and I got the big brother and the little sister of the Epiphone bases. I got a case coming for this one as well. Uh, the dumbass on fucking eBay says that uh, I gotta wait ten days after um, ten days after cleared payment in order to uh, ship. So I'm like, yeah, okay. So there will be a case for this. So you know, get these all this shit off of here. Oh, they put the screws through the... Oh, that's nice. They put the pickups on here and then they put the screws through the plastic on the pickups. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go to the last one, which will be the last G. And then I'll be finished. Alright, so this one here is going to be my last major big purchase for a while. Uh, I might pick up a few odds and ends here and there. But uh, after I get done working on setups and everything else, I'm going to start doing some playing on guitars and making some videos of that because I haven't done that in a long time. So what we have here is the, the last of the G, G, and E. And this is going to G now. And let's get her open. So what we have here, again, like I said, is a G. Stay there. G for Gibson. So let me find the area to open up the box, which it looks like this is not a side open. This is a top open. Another 
nice Gibson case. Uh, smell that lacquer. Alright, move off to the side. You know what? Let me get rid of some of these boxes because, uh, yeah, they're starting to turn to a pain in the ass over here. Alright, so this was another purchase from Z Zounds. And uh, let's see what I got here. One thing I noticed about Gibson is they have not been putting any locks on their cases, but they do have a little loop to put a, a little lock on. Oh, brother. Hmm. Ah, smell that lacquer. Smell that lacquer. All right, folks. Here she is. Make sure there's nothing wrong with this because it will go back if I find one little fucking thing wrong with it. So what we have here is a Gibson Les Paul Standard Blueberry Burst. This one was the nicest flame top that they had on their website. Push pull. On all four, volume and tone. Action height looks nice on this thing as is. And this has the, I don't know if you can see that, but this has got the uh, HP 4 high uh, performances circuitry. You could change uh, <laughs> the sound on this thing. Wow, this thing's beautiful. This thing is really fucking beautiful. Now I do have to check to see what the serial number, actually I don't have to check what the serial number, there should be a picture of this guitar in the case. Alright, so optional pick guard, that's kind of nice. Gibson strap. This has got your goodie bags with your tools and shit inside of it. Here is the picture of the guitar being worked on they give you a poker chip now that's funny oh no never mind uh, I was about to say this case was made in China but no it says the case made in Canada all right so this is a 2019 2019 Gibson oh, standard in the I love this thing this is beautiful now the nice thing about it is too is what that you know they upped their fucking shit with their quality on a lot of the other Gibsons that I've had you could feel the binding or the bump around the uh, uh, where the binding is between the wood. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Does have some markings in the wood, those lines. Top is book matched very nicely. Love the purple with the fade into the blue. Neck feels really, really nice. Actually, the neck feels a little bit on the, th not thick side, but wide side. Bone nut, did a nice job with it. They actually rounded the nut this time, wow. Usually they don't even round the nut going towards the uh, um, the keys. They usually just put it on and cut it on an angle. The standard bell-shaped uh, truss rod cover is pretty much evenly put in there. Grover locking tuners on the back of it. So it's got the locking tuners on there. And, uh, yeah, so I want to put this on the counter for right now, and I will go through some of the stuff that is in this box, what they give you. Again, you know, you have your card that has your, uh, basically all the details of inspections that they do. You have your picture of your guitar. 
this is kind of nice that they throw this inside here without mounting it. There's no screw holes to put this in, in the body, which this is not going on there. And I don't think I'm going to put the poker chip on there either. So I put this stuff back inside of the case. That's where, the, that's where that stuff is going to live. Inside of here, I'm sure you have your owner's manual. Yes, got an owner's manual. You probably have your, yeah, here's your owner's. Here is your warranty booklet, and they give you, I kind of like this, a nice, nice tool. Give you a nice tool for your truss rod, um, everything. They give you basically everything, all your screwdrivers, Allen keys. Uh, this is probably for checking gaps someplace. I do have to tighten these up because these do feel loose. And what else was inside here? Yeah, you got to do your little cloth for cleaning. So that's about it, folks. Um, again, this will be the probably last major big purchase that I make for a good long while. Um, like I said, I wanted to pick up all of the Gibson guitars, Les Pauls. I know it may sound stupid or whatever, but... I have a thing for Gibson, I have a thing for Les Pauls, and uh, yeah, so I have one strap hanging, Gibson strap hanging over here now, so now I'll have two Gibson straps hanging over here now. Case is basic case, you know, that's about it. I have to say this is a very, very nice guitar. Yeah, I got my blueberry burst now. <laughs> all right so that's it last of the unboxings and I gotta say that they must have chambered this thing out pretty much because it feels like the neck side is heavier than the body side so we'll put this back in its case everything looks good with it I will be doing a setup on this Looks good. Uh, 24 7 protection. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. So, like I said, this will be kind of the last of the big purchases that I make uh, for any guitars. Um, that there, that there was pretty good price. And uh, I go through Z Zounds and I've got a great customer support with those guys and, and those guys are really great over there. Just like Sweetwater and everybody else. Um, so yeah, do some playing next. I gotta. All right, you guys take it easy, take care, thanks for watching and have a good one.